Finley's Finley, 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 Finley nearly got there. He might get if he can get free. He has. In, into the camera, or it doesn't matter. No, just yeah, cool. fine. What made me join the army? Um, gladiators. So. <laughs> Fitness in the army is... So when did you join the army? I joined the army in January 2010. And what was your first appointment? As with uh, any officer, we first start at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst for just under a year to train to be an officer and commission from there. Uh, we then go on to our next part of training, so depending on what part of the army we go to, for me, joining the infantry was the platoon commander's battle course at the Infantry Battle School for the next three or four months, uh, and I was then posted to 4th Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland. What made you join the army? What made me join the army? Um, I like the look of the adventure in the army. I've always had an interest in health and fitness, and that coupled with the adventure just seemed like a good way to go. So my role as a company commander is ultimately to command and lead my company, which is uh, three platoons, a group of about 80 to 90 soldiers uh, and officers in, in every aspect of what they do. I'm responsible for everything from their welfare and career through to their training, discipline and preparing them to deploy in operations. And what's your highlight so far in your career, would you say? Highlight in my career is definitely this role. I, I think we move up through lots of different command positions. Um, for me, I always wanted to be a company commander uh, and deploy on operations with my company. Uh, I think that's the dream for most young leaders in the military and, and, and I've managed to do that. I've travelled all over in many capacities in my role. On exercise, for example, everywhere from Canada to the Belizean jungle to Germany, all over the Middle East, and then on operations to Afghanistan and Iraq most recently. I've always had an interest in rugby uh, and I've gone away with our battalion rugby sevens team a number of times we've been to Spain, Italy, Germany uh, and even Dubai at Rugby Sevens a couple of times which is a, a pretty unique experience. Uh, gladiators, so <laughs> I just applied. A friend said, look the show's coming back, I think you'd be good at it, why don't you give it a shot? So filled in the form, kind of didn't think about it, uh, a couple of months later got a call from the production company saying come along for a trial. So I did, there was a few fitness tests, a couple of interview tests, again, didn't really think anything of it. I just was going along for the ride and then I got a call with about a week's notice um, to head down for training before they started filming two weeks later. This bit in the final eliminator was uh, up there with my favorite, the leap onto the cargo net. Uh, and I think this is where I managed to pull away from the other guy and, and, and get some distance. Um, so I guess a little bit of the army training did help. Uh, the zip line was great fun, but definitely not what we do in army training. So this one uh, was called the ring. It was definitely the most brutal, uh, the most physically demanding. It's simple, you had to get from the outside of the ring into the very center and hit the buzzer as many times as you could in a minute. Um, and the, you're up against a gladiator. Uh, for me, um, they chose <laughs> The, the absolute worst nightmare, which is uh, the gladiator who was an England Rugby Sevens player uh, who then moved to American football and was a linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so he definitely knew how to tackle. It was tough, we were filming every single day against absolutely huge gladiators in these contact events, running through them, running through pads, hitting each other. It was actually pretty physically demanding and there was a lot of injuries, both the gladiators and some of my fellow contenders. So actually, I think that ability to just always keep going to the end, always fight through to the finish, as we've always been taught to do, that is the bit that I think really helped me go through and win it. I, my unit was supportive. I didn't, it didn't take much time away. It was filmed only over about 10 days. Um, so as I said, it was quite an intense period of time, but uh, everyone was supportive, but they really wanted to make sure that I won and not embarrass them. <laughs> it, it was funny, like they actually said to me on the show, like they were like, Finn, we just, we need a bit more from you. I was like, cause I was just always like really chilled. <laughs> they were like, give us some like, I'm gonna kick some <laughs> or give us some passion. I'm like, that's not me. 
fitness in the army is, is progressive uh, and it is taught. So right from the moment, wherever and however you join uh, the army, uh, in whatever organization, um, you're taught all the basics you need and, and you're built up. So you, you would never be expected to, you know, put 30 kilos on your back and run across an assault course on, on day one. Absolutely not. So uh, it, it's taught and it's learned and it's something that if you want to build on it and you want to build on that base level, then you absolutely can. I'd say for me, uh, and what we say for most army leaders, so non-commissioned and officers and officers are uh, that we should always lead by example. Uh, and it doesn't mean that we have to be the very first person on the run or, or, or in the gym, but you need to be up there. You need to be close to the front. You need to have that ability to lead by example. You know, most people in another job would have to find time before work, squeeze in at a lunchtime or uh, late at night, but actually having it as part of my working day with my friends and colleagues in a great atmosphere, I, I absolutely love that part of the job.